I brought my Felasa B certificate, which is a certificate that you get after your third bachelor's, after you completed a course of uh, laboratory animal sciences. This allows you to work with uh, animals in a laboratory setting. It's also one of the courses that I I'll, will always remember because besides a more theoretical course in uh, in class with a teacher telling us everything. It's also one hour of petting and holding animals uh, in Heverlee, so that's quite memorable. It's a third bachelor, so it's right before that you choose a master. And yeah, working with animals and, and that kind of research was one of the reasons why I chose a fundamental research. I know it's a quite uh, touchy subject in public opinion, but if people would know First of all, how much we learn about it in, in, in class during our, during our education, but also afterwards what kind of regulations are in place for us to use and to be able to and to be allowed to use animals. People would be a lot more assured that we uh, treat the animals with respect and, and a, a lot of dignity. So, Ali, I mean, I can't imagine science or the way that I perform science without animals, so it's important that yeah we treat them with uh, respect it was always obvious to me to study something biology related so i was always quite interested in everything that was living and and yeah the exact sciences in general even not when i was a child i wasn't thinking about yeah the micro level of the world but uh, certainly now because i work with viruses and bacteria that is a world that you only can see when you get a microscope and yeah there's so much to see and cells and stuff and how different they are and how they can interact and right now we got a, a brand new microscope in the lab and it's really cool to really see how yeah for example the bloodstream in like a three millimeter fish or how bacteria or macrophages like immune cells move in the fish uh, yeah it's quite amazing to uh, to follow in general, biomedical sciences is just a fun study to do. I mean, it's so diverse. In the first year, you have the, the general uh, things like chemistry and physics and math and biology. But then each year, you learn more about cell physiology and microbiology. And then in a master, you have so much choice to really lay your own accents. It's the broadest spectrum of, of options that you have. I mean, now I'm doing virology, but maybe later I'm going into cancer research or, or yeah, just a broad field uh, to study and to work in, I think. So what I'm doing now is trying to use the zebrafish to understand how the human norovirus or the virus that infects humans works. Uh, because as of today, we don't even know why people get diarrhea. We don't know how it happens. So we will try to use the zebrafish to yeah, to try to understand how the virus makes us sick. And I think I'm quite lucky to be able to do a PhD because the work that I'm doing now is also a continuation of what I was doing in my master thesis. Yeah, I'm quite happy that I can continue it on my own. Yeah. I think uh, for starting students, certainly um, don't overthink. I mean, some of the best decisions that I've made during my education were things that were just spontaneously just go for it and, and see what happens.